And this is the sound coming from the built-in microphone of the Lumix GH6. I'm standing here with the Boom XD2 Pro and I turned the noise cancellation, the denoise off. What a difference, right? Hi guys, Dirk here. Thanks so much for tuning in. And today we are checking out the Comica Boom XD Pro. This is not a sponsored message when I'm telling you that this year the Comica Vimo C is my true travel choice. I'm currently in Germany, uh, surrounded by nature and beauty. So whenever I'm going on a trip, I take this tiny dual channel wireless microphone system with me because A, it sounds really good and B, it's so small and travel friendly. That's why I was so excited when Comica reached out to me and offered me to review the Boom XD Pro. This is also another dual channel wireless microphone system and I consider it to be the big brother of the Remo C. So I can wait to test it and to find out how the sound quality is. So this is the first outside test with the Boom XD Pro and I have set the audio level to zero decibel, but I chose the option safety track so it creates two tracks, one at my chosen decibel level zero and then one minus six decibel to be on the safe side so nothing will be clipping. I am really curious to find out how the sound quality is. I have denoise turned off right now because we are in a pretty quiet environment. Yeah, we do have a couple of birds that might be noisy. I don't know <laughs> if the microphone can pick that up. But other than this, it's a very quiet area and I think this is the right choice for me. Now a car is driving by and I'm curious to find out if the microphone can pick up the sound of the car driving by. We do have two level E microphones included. What sounds better? If I speak directly in the transmitter of the Boom XD2 Pro or if I talk here into the lavalier microphone. I'm not trying to hide the cable because I obviously want to make a test of the sound quality coming from the supplemented lavalier microphone of the Comica Boom XD2 Pro. What sounds better if I talk directly into the transmitter or if I speak here into the lavalier microphone? So we have a little dog barking over there in the dog park. We have some cars driving by and I really want to find out how the lav mic picks up the surrounding noises and how the overall sound quality is that's coming from the lav mic that is supplemented with the Boom XD Pro. The fountain test is the ultimate test for noise cancellation and I want to find out how it sounds with the noise turned off. So right now I don't have any noise cancellation turned on in the Boom XD2 Pro. I want to find out how the clarity of my voice is, how the overall sound quality is and if the water is dominant or if we can't hear it at all. This is how it sounds with the noise turned on. We have cars driving by, we do have a waterfall here in the back, a fountain, and I want to find out how the overall sound quality is and how the sound of my voice comes across. Do we hear all the noises around us or does it sound better or the same as before? Everything you hear in this video is recorded using the Comica Boom XD Pro. Good things come in small packages and this microphone system comes in such a nice travel case. We get such a very unique USB to triple USB-C cable. I've never seen anything like this before, but it's so convenient because you can simultaneously charge all your three devices and you need only one adapter. Also in the box we have two lavalier microphones. We get two wind muffs that come on top of the microphone of the transmitter in case it's a bit windy outside. We also get a TRS to TRS cable so you can directly connect the receiver to your cameras. And if you want to connect this system to your phones, a TRS to TRRS cable is also included. The clip on the back of the receiver and of the transmitter functions also as a cold shoe mount so it fits right onto your camera. On this side we do have the power button that also functions as a mute button and we can use the button underneath to turn denoise on or off. And it's also a pairing button in case your devices are not paired already. On the other side we have a USB-C port where you can directly charge the transmitter but this also functions if you want to download the audio from the transmitter you simply turn it off. That's important otherwise it doesn't work. You turn it off, connect it to your PC. Once connected you can simply drag and drop the audio files from the transmitter to your PC. So what makes me really excited about the system is this little orange button and that is to start a recording. 
yes, we get 16 gigabyte of built-in storage that allows for up to 48 hours of internal recording. To have this form of redundancy puts the Comica Boom XD Pro in a professional league. Yeah, and I think even Kiwi likes that. The backup recording in the transmitter does not start automatically. You actually physically have to press this orange button and then the recording starts. And what I like about this is that it doesn't require for you to connect the system to a camera or to a computer. You can simply press this button and you can start your own recording and later on download it to your PC. On top of the transmitter we have the built-in microphone and on the other side you can plug in the Lavalier microphone. And then we have a well-readable display that gives us a lot of information. Signal strength, if the microphone is muted, if noise cancellation is turned on or off, if we are connected, the battery strength, if we're currently using the internal recording or not, and the recording time, and if we're on channel A or B. The batteries in the transmitter last for up to four and a half hours of recording time and in the receiver up to six hours. The latency is less than 20 milliseconds and that ensures that your audio will be always perfectly synchronized. According to the manufacturer, we do have a range between transmitter and receiver of up to 100 meter, 330 feet. Now I would never ever leave my gear unattended and walk away that far, but it's nice to have the option. And here I am. The receiver has also a lot of specialties. For example, we have real-time monitoring built in, so you can connect your headphones to the receiver and you can listen to the sound in real time. Next to it, we have the TRS connector. We have a power button and underneath the power button, we can separately, individually control the audio gains for each of the transmitters. And I like this a lot. With the power button, we can also select in which mode we're currently recording. We have mono, we have stereo and we have safety. On the other side, we do have a USB-C port. And then of course, in the front, we have a very well readable display that shows us A, in which mode we're currently recording. It shows us the battery level and underneath the gains that we selected for each of the transmitters of channel A and channel B. Overall, it's a very well-rounded system and you can use it for cameras, you can use it for phones. And I think it sounds really good. But what are your thoughts? Is this something you'd be interested in? How do you like the sound quality coming from the Comica Boom XD Pro? Let me know in the comments below also if you have questions or suggestions, I'll definitely respond. A free way to support my channel would be to leave a like and if you like my channel overall, please consider to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.